last, right? And we vote. The Supreme Court has put our lives in danger this term, and we're going to fight right back. I just can't believe that, like, in 2022, this is the issue that we're dealing with. But this is, should be something that's, like, guaranteed, and we should be moving towards, like, becoming more progressive. So it's ridiculous that we are incredibly powerful, and we can. We can restore our rights. Fight back! Fight back! Fist up! Absolutely, I mean, I think, uh, you know, our immediate reaction is out to come out here and, and let our voices be known and our opinions be heard. The majority of Americans support abortion access in the country. The, the decision does not reflect popular opinion here. And so we have, we have all the power to, to make sure that we... I'm more so disappointed because I thought I, as an individual, deserve to have the same rights as a man. Uh, I went to bed last night in 2022 and I woke up in 1950. Um, and that's a really hard feeling. Upon thousands of lives in this country and the ultimate consequences of the courts. I've had the protection of this right my whole life. My mom was an immigrant, came to this country and she was like, what an amazing country for women of color. What a great country I'm raising my children in. What a great country for my daughter, my immigrant brown daughter to grow up in, right? And then today, she texted me and said, this is no longer a country for women. This Supreme Court has broken my mother's heart. Because those elections matter. We don't just need leaders. We don't need friends. We need champions right now. We need to fight and we have to fight these new battles because our very lives depend on it.